In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve questions involving stoichiometry. This is question number one. The question reads, during photosynthesis, plants convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen according to the reaction shown below. Suppose a particular plant consumes 37.8 grams of carbon dioxide in one week. Assume that there is more than enough water present to react with all the carbon dioxide present. What mass of glucose in grams can the plant synthesize from the CO2? Let's start by writing down everything we know. We know the mass of carbon dioxide, and it's stated right here at 37.8 grams. So I'll write down over here, M is equal to 37.8 grams. And they want us to find out how many grams of C6H12O6 is produced. The first thing that we have to do is find out how many moles is found in this many grams of carbon dioxide. And to do that, we need to find the molar mass. I'll represent the molar mass with a capital M. To find the molar mass, you need to find the molar mass of each individual atom within a single molecule of CO2. And I have the molar masses of each atom shown below, although these can be accessed quite easily in any periodic table. CO2 has one carbon dioxide molecule. So I'll take 12 decimal 0, 1 and multiply it by 1. Plus, we have two oxygen atoms and each oxygen atom has a molar mass of 16 decimal 0, 0. 16 decimal 0, 0 times 2. Using our calculator, we have 12 decimal 0, 1 plus bracket 16 times 2. Notice that I did not include times 1 because multiplying anything by 1 is itself. And this gives us a molar mass of 44 decimal 0, 1. 44 decimal 0, 1 grams per mole. I'll write that down underneath. 44.01 grams per mole. Once you've found your molar mass, you want to somehow multiply these two numbers so that you end up with the number of moles. And you can do that quite easily by taking 37.8 grams and multiplying it by the flipped version of this number. Notice that in this version, we have 44.01 grams at the top and one mole at the bottom. Instead, I'll put one mole at the top and 44.01 grams at the bottom. And you can do that for any rate. This is considered a rate because we have one unit on top of another unit. So this grams unit will cancel out, leaving us with only moles. Using our calculator, we have 37.8 divided by 44.01. And this gives me 0 0.8588. Notice that our answer here should have three significant figures. This has three, and this has four. But I've continued to write more than three significant figures. I've written down this extra eight. I've done that so I can prevent any sort of rounding errors moving forward. And I'll put a dot underneath this eight to signify my last significant figure. I'll represent this number by the letter N, and I'll write that down right here. Notice that I'm keeping track of everything. This is important. My next step is to compare the amount of molecules of CO2 within this reaction to the amount of molecules of glucose in the reactant side. We have 6 to 1. So I'll write that down. We have technically 6 moles of CO2 and we have 1 mole of glucose. This ratio is important and we usually denote ratios with a colon. I'll write down this number underneath this number which is the carbon dioxide column. 0 0.8588 moles. And I'm looking for the amount of equivalent moles of glucose. So I'll write an x down to denote my unknown. And from here, I'll do a little bit of cross multiplication, which is a technique in math where we solve for the unknown in a ratio. So I'll multiply this number by 1 and multiply x by 6. Let's see what happens. We end up with x times 6 is 6x. This number times 1 is 0 0.8588. Solving for x, I divide both sides by 6. Watch this. The 6 cancels out, leaving us with x is equal to this number divided by 6 
and we end up with 0 0.1431. I'll write that over here where I have n is equal to 0 0.1431 moles. Next, I need to find out the molar mass of glucose, one molecule of glucose, and multiply this number by that molar mass. So how do we find the molar mass of glucose? The same way we did for carbon dioxide. Going back to these numbers, we have C6, so 12.01 times 6, plus 1.008 times 12, 12 hydrogens, and 6 oxygens. Using our calculator, multiplying this by 6, plus 1.008 by 12, plus 16.00, by 6, and this gives me 180.156. 180.156 grams per mole. Keep in mind that our answer should have three significant figures moving forward. So when I multiply this and this together, my final answer should have three digits. Let's go ahead and do that. 0 0.1431 times 180.156, and we end up with 25.78. Our mass is 25.78. Given that this number is greater than 5, this 7 will go up by 1, and we have 25.8 grams of glucose. And there you have it. That is how to solve a stoichiometry problem. Make sure to watch question 2 for another example.